you guys are all doing good happy monday um i know this is a little bit tricky because we're no longer in class so i thought the easiest way to get through lectures would be to record uh, hopefully we can do a live lecture sometime next week um, but for now we're going to stick with um, these lectures if you do not want to look at these lectures it's fine you can just view them on your own but i know many of you guys enjoy listening while writing also because you get more information if you have any questions please just leave a comment and I will try to get back to your questions as soon as I can. So today we're gonna to focus on the Great Depression. Your objective for today is students will be able to identify and explain the factors that led to the Great Depression. I think for 99% of you guys, your KWL asked, why did it happen and who was to blame? So today that's what we're gonna focus on is why did this happen? But unfortunately, there's not one person we can blame it on. Also, just so you guys know, the Great Depression, we're talking about a period between the late 1920s all the way up to World War II. I know many of you guys put that you knew that the Great Depression happened, um, but your time period was a little off. A lot of you guys were talking about the 2000s. That's actually known as the recession. Uh, that's something that happened more recently. And I know a lot of economists are saying right now too that we're going through another recession. But this is the worst part is the depression so hopefully we don't get here we're just going to focus on something that did happen in history in the 30s so where do we start one thing that i want you guys to know is while the 1920s seemed to be glorious for everyone and everyone was doing well that actually wasn't the case for a lot of industries we saw a lot of industries hurting during the 1920s uh, they did fairly well during the 19 18, 1919, 1917 time period. That was during World War I. A lot of them were being used um, in defense and to help you know win the war. But after World War I ends, you usually don't need um, as many products or that company as much as you did before or that industry. So one industry that was doing poorly was the railroad. The next one is the textile the steel, the mining, the coal mining industry, lumber industry, and the agriculture one is the one that hurt the most because at this time period, they were actually making, not making, but producing too many foods and the farmers did not have enough people to sell them to. So what the U.S. decided to do was enact price supports. So the government said, hey, like, we'll buy the rest of the food for from you, sell what you can, and then we'll sell it to the rest of the world, whatever you guys cannot sell. Um, unfortunately, too, many farmers had gone into debt previously because they knew that during World War I, um, they were a group that was highly needed, so they bought more things to help their farming industry do better, but it actually helped, caused them to go into more debt. Um, something else that hurt besides like the agriculture industry and the other ones was that people in general were not making smart decisions with their money. So yes, in the 1920s, we see more people working, but unfortunately they started to buy more things on installment plans or credit. And so if you guys remember, installment plans are when you purchase something, but you don't pay the full price, you pay a little here and there, like probably every month until you pay it off. Unfortunately, this didn't help people, this hurt people because it helped them dig themselves deeper into debt. We also saw the income gap get wider during the 1920s and the rich were getting richer and the poor were getting poor. Uh, many people were living below the poverty line. People only bought a new outfit once a year. I think we would all die if that happened to us now. Many of us like to go shopping or at least, you know, buy a new outfit every so often also only half the homes had heat electricity at this time i believe like one in ten homes only had a fridge so some fun facts uh, this is obviously showing that you know there is a gap not everyone can afford to have the luxuries so besides the failing industries and people dig themselves into debt there was a stock market crash and this is usually what most people think of as the main cause of the Great Depression, but it wasn't. It was one of the many causes. So in the 1920s, the stock market was doing that well. A lot of people wanted to invest, especially your average person, because they're hoping like it's going to be a quick way to get rich. Unfortunately, the stock market wasn't really regulated by the federal government, so people can kind of just do whatever. 
1929, we saw the stock market's uh, prices quickly increase and then all of a sudden decrease. And then by October 24th, the market started to decline. At this point, some investors knew that there was going to be something bad happening. So they started to take their money out. One person who kind of saw this trend was um, John F. Kennedy's uh, great-grandfather, our grandpa. And so he took his money out so he was able to keep it. But on October 29th, 1929 is when the market crashed. And that's what we know as Black Tuesday. So other things that signaled that there was going to be a Great Depression is many banks started to close. About 600 banks closed. That is a lot of banks. I cannot imagine today banks just closing. Also, unemployment increased to 25%. So meaning one in four people did not have a job. And this was just at the start. It does increase more towards the end of the Great Depression, but right now we're just talking about the start. The U.S. was also not selling goods or services to other countries. And so this actually hurt them. Um, so what the U.S. decided to do is, hey, we're going to enact a tariff, which is a, basically a tax, um, to help protect American businesses. So if another country wants to buy our goods, they're going to have to pay a tax. This actually ended up hurting more than it did help. So tariff, not a good idea. This is also when we saw the rest of the world fall into Great Depression. So it wasn't just a U.S. thing, it was actually a global thing. All right, so hopefully you guys kind of have an idea of what happened during this time period and you can realize it wasn't one factor that led to the Great Depression. It wasn't just the stock market crash, it was actually many factors. So what I want you to do next is write down a short paragraph, three to four sentences, identify and explain the factors that led to the Great Depression. If you have any questions, please um, write them and I will try to answer them. I'll look at your notes. Um, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Have a great day, guys. Happy Monday.